the actor licking a crystal substance out of his friend's hand. Army Hammer is the named suspect in an alleged assault investigation. She has found the courage to discuss what she alleges has happened to her. She wants to warn other women who may come into contact with Mr. Hammer. On April 24th, 2017, Army Hammer violently beat me for over four hours. In Los Angeles, he repeatedly slapped my head against a wall. Two messages that were allegedly sent from Army read, quote, I need to drink your blood and I am 100% cannibal. Some of those messages were sent while the two were married. So Army Hammer is clearly a cannibal. This man has a sick obsession with disfiguring and consuming women. During his marriage, he cheated and violated a handful of women. His victims have scars on their bodies and PTSD from what they've gone through. So let's get into it. Lately, I've been all about self-care. It is so important, and today's sponsor can help you chill out and relax. Vans Global is a CBD and Delta 8 company based in the U.S. You guys must be at least 18 years old to try these gummies, but they're 50 milligrams each and completely vegan. So these gummies are made with pectin, not gelatin. And you guys get a choice between Vans Global's Delta 8 gummies, we've got some CBD gummies right here, and then my personal favorite, the THCO. These gummies come in a variety of fruit flavors, and personally, I love taking them after a long and stressful day of work. Plus, they taste great. The effect is so soothing, just like Vance Global's other products. They also have Delta 8 THC and THCO joints. So check them out and use my code SL04N for any of Vance Global's products. You'll receive a generous 20 20% off your order and free shipping. Shop their gummies, their CBD Delta 8 THC cigarettes, and much more. Thank you, Vance Global, and enjoy this video. A year and a half after Army Hammer was first accused of horrific crimes, the disgraced actor is once again making headlines. He has supposedly lost the support of his wealthy family, and he's also had a switch up in career paths. He was spotted selling timeshares at a Cayman Islands resort. And we'll talk a little bit about this new job that he has towards the end of this video, but I want to focus on what happened to Army Hammer, all of the accusations, the evidence, and really just talk about the proof that this guy is disturbed. Army Hammer is an actor and he's been doing it for quite some time. You may recognize him from Gossip Girl or The Social Network or Call Me By Your Name. But you also may recognize him from his bizarre behavior because in 2019, a video went viral of his son, his two-year-old son, like sucking on his toes. They said it happened for seven minutes. It was just a really weird moment. So it seems like everything started going downhill and Army Hammer's life when he and his wife announced that they were getting a divorce. They actually announced this on Instagram and they wrote a beautiful caption about their divorce. I mean, they talk about being best friends, soulmates, partners, and then parents. Up until their divorce, it looked like the couple were quarantining in the Cayman Islands, which must have been nice. But then at some point, Army moved back to Los Angeles and then it looks like Elizabeth was requesting full custody of their two children. Then in in October 2020, it seems like ARMY was taking on a new hobby. He actually had an interview with Jimmy Kimmel where he talks about fixing up an old motel and saying that he really doesn't have anything else better to do. Funny enough, my buddy Ashton bought an old motel out in the desert. I heard about this. Yeah. Now explain what's going on. It was like this kind of like abandoned rundown motel. And I came back from, uh, from the Cayman Islands where I was during quarantine, and I was like, dude, I got nothing to do. And he's like, well, do you want to come live with me in this abandoned motel and do construction with me? And I was like, you say no, right? Yeah, of course not. That's <laughs> terrible. I'm a movie star. It's the last thing I want to do. I'm sorry, did you think I had anything else better going on? <laughs> like, I was literally sitting at home, like, picking boogers, seeing how far I could flick them. Shortly after that interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Army actually filed in the court for joint custody because he didn't want to give up on his kids as a father, which I guess that's good. But he hadn't been able to see his children ever since they announced their divorce. And it seems like Elizabeth was trying to keep away the kids from Army Hammer for whatever reason. Then a few months later, we start to hear these allegations and these accusations, and it all looks really bad for Army. So we're going to go in chronological order of all of these 
these allegations because this person named Effie, House of Effie on Instagram, claimed to have had a four year long affair with Army Hammer. And during this affair, they had some really graphic and violent moments that not only happened in person, but also through text messages. And alleged that he sent them private messages about sexual acts and other fantasies, some of them fetishizing violence. Two messages that were allegedly sent from Army and were posted on an anonymous Instagram account read, quote, I need to drink your blood and I am 100% cannibal. Army is not smart for sending these messages over text because now there's proof and there's a lot for us to go through. But you guys will see throughout this video that Army Hammer seems to be like a cannibal, which if you don't know what that word means, I know maybe some people don't, but it describes a creature who eats the same creature. Like, I don't think cannibal is exclusive to humans. Like, other animals can be cannibals. Like, if a squirrel ate a squirrel, then the squirrel's a cannibal. And if a human, like, eats a human, then they're a cannibal. And Army Hammer is a cannibal. But let's go ahead and just review some of these messages that were leaked. Army Hammer says that he's going to finish thinking of breaking your bones. Also, trigger warning. This entire video needs a major trigger warning. Text me about breaking your bones while R-wording you. I'll send you a voice note while I finish while reading it. Ugh. He talks about brand you, tattoo you, mark you, cut a piece of your skin off and make you cook it for me. Like, I feel like the test can be endless. Whose slave master relationship is the strongest? Ugh. And guys, I'm not about kink shaming. I don't think that there's any reason for it, but I don't think this is a kink, is it? I mean, I want to see your brain, your blood, your organs, every part of you. I would definitely bite it or try to F it. If I F'd you into a vegetative state, I'd keep you, feed you, wash you, and keep effing you. Oh my gosh, this sounds like really like American Horror Story vibes. There are also some threatening messages from ARMY, like very convenient for you to bring that up because if for some reason something goes wrong and my wife finds out, I'll probably remove your head from your body. This message right here is from a woman who I guess they had some type of interaction earlier before this because ARMY says, would you be able to do it in a productive way about expressing how you feel versus making it an attack? I guess this is maybe about like this person reporting them because they expressed that they wanted to take their own life and they called a hotline to get help and <laughs> Army Hammer just says that he laughed out loud hearing this. There are also some other messages that are supposedly out there that I wasn't able to locate. Now, in one message, he allegedly described a time where he went hunting and ate a deer's heart and then said to a woman, quote, I'd eat your heart if I wasn't stuck without you after. So all of these messages started to come out because that one Instagrammer came out and shared their experience and then they started receiving messages from other people who had screenshots and had their own stories to tell. Effie posted on her Instagram story, women approached me with their affair stories as we talked, overwhelmed with grief for days and nights without sleep or eating, with some ending up in the ER. So these women really struggled because of what they went through with Army Hammer. At this point in Army's life, he was working and he was actually working on a project with JLo called Shotgun Wedding, but he ended up being replaced by some guy named Josh because he decided to step away because, I mean, these allegations are horrible and nobody wants to work with someone like this. And honestly, he probably walked away because he knew this was coming because he knew that he did this. There's so much proof that this man did these things to these women. And at this point, I really think he was at a low point because he was caught like doing some like drugs from his friend in the car. This video of the actor licking a crystal substance out of his friend's hand. There is also video footage of Army Hammer from that time where he is operating a vehicle and then cracking a cold one. Now we've obtained that video that you showed us, Thomas, and here is another one where you can see the actor crack a beer while it looks like he's driving. Now. Army split from his wife of 10 years, Elizabeth, in July of 2020. And these videos are from September 2020, but some of those messages were sent while the two were married. And a source told us that Elizabeth, well, she is just mortified about these new revelations. I can't imagine what his wife Elizabeth was going through at this point. I mean, part of me thinks that she had to know that he was kind of into these things. I mean, granted, they are married and they have children. And if this is what he's into, she probably had an idea of it but maybe he pushed the boundaries with other women. Like, for example, this woman named Courtney, who actually went to page six and told them that he emotionally harmed her, he coerced her into doing 
things and appropriate things that he wanted. She was quoted saying, he did some things with me I wasn't comfortable with. For God knows what reason, he convinced me that these things were okay, and he put me in some dangerous situations where I was not okay, where he was heavily drinking and I wasn't drinking that way, and it scared me. Oh, and I forgot to mention, she also said that he wanted to barbecue and to eat her. You guys will see that being a cannibal is a big part of who Army Hammer is. And I feel like that's like not a lot of people can relate to that because that's a very specific niche to want to consume human flesh. She said that it was weird when he brought this up to her, but she just kind of overlooked the odd behavior. I mean, he was a big time actor, a good looking guy. So <laughs> I guess it's like, okay, when he tells you, I want to take a bite of you. And wait, wait, wait. She also mentions having a cut on her hand and that he wanted to suck it or to lick it. I mean, she said that's about as weird as we got. So thankfully, they didn't get into like the flesh eating. It came to light that he may be into some rather unsavory sexual fantasies, including two women who have messages from the actor saying he wanted to take their ribs out and put them on the Barbie and then eat them. Before we move on to Army Hammer's secret Instagram account, I want to mention that Courtney said to page six that Army likes the idea of skin in his teeth, which that line right there, I was like, I have to mention that because that is such a weird mentality, but his secret Instagram tells it all. January was a horrible time for Army Hammer because screenshots of his second Instagram were leaked and you can find a bunch of horrible things in there like references to BDSM and drugs and photos and videos of women and bondage. At one point he talks about like effing Miss Cayman while he's down in the islands because they spend a lot of time in the Cayman Islands and if you don't know what like that means it's like Miss Cayman like the model like you guys know like Miss USA, Miss you know Virginia, Miss California. Miss Cayman is someone that he teased about hooking up with. Here are some of the captions from his page. I guess he and boasted a picture of a drug test and wrote, all negative bitches. My body is a finely tuned toxicant processing unit. To be fair, I had THC and benzos in my piss, but who doesn't? Oh God, cringe. He also wrote on one post, divorce is so fun. Not as fun as drugs, but what is? I'm like just not much of a drug person. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like maybe the like the plant that's legal. Like, yeah, maybe sometimes, but like nothing. I don't know. Like drugs aren't like fun. To, I, I just don't like they don't cause fun. Like, you know what I mean? But as I said earlier, this man is clearly disturbed and we have some screenshots of the pictures he posted. As you guys can see in this screenshot, there's a picture of someone's like behind. There's some type of looks like a drug test. There's a video of a hallway with maybe roses in it. It looks like he has like an Uber Eats order or something that even has his name in it and a few other pictures. I mean, look at that one meme. Mother-in-law, you look like such a nice girl. Me in her son's room. So mm, some bondage talk, which I just like this guy's married. He has children. He's an actor. How does he have time for like a Finsta, like a, a raunchy Finsta? He's 35 years old. This is so college, but like not even. And maybe he could have gotten away with this secret Instagram if nobody knew about it. But he himself confirmed that it was his like this guy just makes bad choices after bad choices, and it just, he looks horrible. Well, it turns out the Miss Cayman Islands Universe Committee reached out to Army because he he gaslit people into thinking that he was with Miss Cayman and she was never actually with him, so he had to publicly state that he was not with Miss Cayman and that it was just a bad joke, which just like, that's so incredibly embarrassing because he's like privately posting these things for whatever reason, and now the real Miss Cayman's like, uh, I would have never done that please don't and the whole committee is getting involved hammer was revealed to have a private instagram account last week and in one video leaked as he gives viewers a tour of his hotel room army pretends to ignore a woman posing in little to nothing on all fours on the bed but uses the accompanying caption to boast about being intimate with miss cayman again his nickname for the unidentified lover left officials behind the local beauty pageant very disturbed making it clear their 2020 miss cayman islands title holder Maria Tibbetts was not the woman in the video. Now Hammer has reacted to the statement admitting the footage does belong to him, but was taken without his permission from his profile, and he apologised. 
I don't really think secret Instagrams are the vibe. I mean, if you do have one, maybe just don't have anyone follow you and keep it private and it's like just for you. But we need to get into Paige's story because Army Hammer had teased branding women in the past. We've seen those screenshots, but Paige was actually branded by him. Literally the same month, January 2021, Paige, a 24-year-old ex-girlfriend of Army Hammer's, came forward and told Paige Six that she was branded and bruised. He had also taken graphic photos of her without consent. She was quoted saying, I have gotten a DM saying that ARMY had sent my photos of me tied up that I didn't know about, I guess to someone. I didn't even know that these photos existed or what they looked like. So he would take these photos and then send them around to people like flex and share them, which again, I don't know why he has to like go and make his private business so public. It's something that he's like oddly fascinated with. I don't know what type of spell this guy put on these women like the manipulation I mean obviously there's a lot that he's doing here because he's literally using a knife to go and brand these girls she was 22 when they dated and she said for about four months the prior year they engaged in knife play which he would like cut off her underwear or her bras and then use the knife all over his body he even carved an A into her skin this is incredibly graphic guys I'm going to show you a picture of the A but she claims that she just kind of sat back and let it happen she didn't really know what to do or say. And here's a photo of the A. It's not like incredibly, incredibly graphic. It looks like it could be like a pen mark. It's a very precise cut, but something very like traumatizing. And imagine having that after. I mean, she claims that she was planning on getting it removed somehow, but oh gosh, it like anyone else like your skin just like feels like it itches when you see that you're just like ouch I would hate to have that happen to me it's definitely not something I'm into she also claims that he left her with bruises and she said that he like was proud of them he wanted to show them off <sighs> How am I supposed to see other people when I have bruises? And I guess that's the point. He wanted to have her all to himself. It really does seem like this guy truly does objectify women. Keep in mind that this guy has a wife at home and children. Paige also shared that he would go to the gym and brag to his friends about carving an A into him. She said that he would compliment her and tell her things that would make her feel on top of the world. The first time we met, he had me call him sir or daddy it didn't really alarm me but i thought that this was you know different and fun and could be an adventure she said that he knew how to get to her and that ultimately he wanted an sex slave someone just, that is his object that's really someone he could trash and brand and bruise and Eat. And at this point, during all of these allegations, Army Hammer hires a lawyer who claims that none of these allegations or interactions or any of this is true. These were all consensual. Everything that happened between them was consensual. So with all these allegations circulating, people are kind of like looking at the police, looking at authorities, like, is anything going to happen here? Well, on February 3rd, 2021, it looks like the LAPD actually begins an investigation. They say we can confirm that Army Hammer is the main suspect in an alleged SA investigation. Los Angeles Police Department spokesperson later confirmed to E! News that Army Hammer is the named suspect in an alleged sexual assault investigation that was opened on February 3rd. However, they did not disclose the name of the accuser. The police had no immediate comment when reached by E! News this weekend. Then in March 2021, Vanity Fair decides to put out a bombshell article, which really just adds to the drama of this whole situation. As I mentioned earlier, Army Hammer comes from a super wealthy family. I mean, he is completely nepotism, and his grandfather was incredibly rich. Vanity Fair actually put out this article talking about his family and the fact that his grandfather killed someone before. This isn't a great look for Army Hammer because we already know that he's an aggressive man. In 1955, his grandfather killed a man inside their LA home over a gambling debt and supposed advances on his wife. So on Army Hammer's grandmother and the grandfather got away with everything because he claimed self-defense. I mean, granted, this guy was incredibly rich, so he probably finessed the system. You guys know LAPD is totally corrupt, but this was the biggest takeaway from this article. It was an interesting article because it explains how toxic the entire family has 
been and the business empire and all of that and it kind of explains why army Amber is probably really messed up you guys may remember at the beginning of this video i mentioned an instagram account called house of effie well it turns out effie's a real person and had a relationship with army gloria allred actually represents effie and she went public with effie to share what had happened to her while being with army hammer today i'm here with my client effie effie is 24 years old and she lives in Europe. She had a romantic and an intimate relationship with Army Hammer between 2016 to 2020. They sent each other numerous texts and other electronic communications. In addition, they were together and intimate numerous times. While many of their encounters were consensual, Effie was very upset to read that Mr. Hammer's lawyers stated about allegations from a number of women that, quote, all of his sexual activities outside of marriage were completely consensual. Today, Effie will respond to this statement by Army Hammer's lawyers and to the issue of consent in her relationship with Mr. Hammer. She has found the courage to discuss what she alleges has happened to her. First, she wants to warn other women who may come into contact with Mr. Hammer of possible risks in their relationship with him. Second, Effie has been contacted by many others who allege that they have also been victimized by Mr. Hammer in the sexual relationship that they have had with him. So in that news conference, Gloria spoke and then Effie spoke about what she went through, guys. And I have to give you a heads up. It's extremely triggering to hear. A 24 year old woman who identified herself as Effie accused Army of She's represented by powerhouse attorney Gloria Allred and said in a video news conference that she had been in a four year romantic relationship with Army while he was married to his now estranged wife, Elizabeth Chambers. Before we get into Effie's statement, I want to briefly talk about what she went through and give you guys some time to like maybe skip out or skip ahead if you cannot handle hearing these type of things. So Effie says that she was 20 when she met Army Hammer through Facebook in 2016. She fell in love with him instantly, but she saw his clear manipulation tactics. Effie claims that she felt like Army was going to take her life. He violently R-worded her and physically hurt her during their four year long relationship. In April 2017, he violently R-worded her for four hours in LA where he slapped her head against the wall, bruising her face. He also did other acts of violence. He supposedly beat her feet, beat her feet uh, with every step that she took so that if she tried to get away, it would be like painful. It reminds me of the text earlier where he like said that like F you until you're in a vegetative state. Like he just wants this person to be like nothingness. Like he just completely takes over them. Now let's get into Effie's testimony because what she says is really heart wrenching. And I want to give you guys another trigger warning that it's hard to listen to. On April 24th, 2017, Army Hammer violently reached me for over four hours in Los Angeles, during which he repeatedly slapped my head against a wall, bruising my face. He also committed other acts of violence against me, to which I did not consent. For example, he beat my feet with a crop, so they would hurt whatever step I took for the next week. During those four hours, I tried to get away, but he wouldn't let me. <laughs> I thought that he was going to kill me. He then left with no concern for my well-being. I was completely in shock, and I couldn't believe this. What I loved did that to me. I tried so hard to justify his actions, even to the point of responding to him in a way that did not reflect my true feelings. I have lived in fear of him, and for a long time, I tried to dismiss his actions towards me as a twisted form of love. Now that he no longer has any power over me, I have come to understand that the immense mental hold he held over me was incredibly damaging. His abuse traumatized me to the point where for months I couldn't sleep or I'd have night terrors. I was constantly emotionally distressed and I lost interest in living. I couldn't comprehend and overcome what he had done to me. I just wanted the pain to stop. <laughs> My hope in speaking out is that he will be held accountable. 
Effie is so strong for coming forward and speaking publicly because that is not easy to do. And at this point, Army was just being dropped by all of these different projects because nobody wanted to hire him in Hollywood. So he's been on a downward slope. And then in May 2021, he decided to go to a treatment facility for drug, alcohol, and sex issues. Army Hammer has left a treatment facility after spending most of this year there amid an ongoing police investigation over sexual assault allegations made against him, as well as unrelated accusations of abuse. According to two of Vanity Fair sources, Army checked into the Florida program for drug, alcohol, and sex issues this past May. And on December 12th, Army's lawyer told E! News, quote, I can confirm that Mr. Hammer has left the treatment facility and is doing great. After Army goes to rehab, we don't really hear much from him. He kind of like goes to rehab and then disappears. But as I mentioned earlier, he's been making headlines again. And in July 2022, he has been seen working as a concierge at a Cayman Islands resort, which honestly, I do not shame him at all i think it's like kind of sick for people to job shame like let him go do that and honestly good put his ass to work he grew up with this rich family the rich family no longer wants to support him and you know throw money at him so they're like you know go get a real job and now he's got a job and i'm like hell yeah put his ass to work i'm like People are shaming him. I'm like, no, make him work harder. 45 hours, 50 hours a week, 60 hours overtime. About a year since his retreat to the Cayman Islands, the 35-year-old actor has recently been spotted at the Moritz Resort office wearing a blue polo shirt and going over pricing for a unit with a couple of potential buyers. During the pitch, he reportedly offered the potential buyers a timeshare for $2,020 per week or $21,000 for 10 years of vacations. Pics of the actor on June 29th show him possibly arriving to work in uniform at the office with a clean shaven look and the same blue polo shirt with formal navy blue pants. A tweet that has since gone viral and then been deleted showed the actor's face on a pamphlet as a concierge for the hotel. It included discount vouchers and advertised that Hammer would take guests to swim with wild turtles and point them to the best snorkeling and diving spots. So he's working at this resort and selling timeshares and he's working at a cubicle, which in reality, he's totally broke and trying to fill the days and earn money to support his family, which I think good, like good. At least he's not over here sitting, doing nothing, like doing drugs. Like when he was first getting in trouble, it seemed like he was just drinking and driving, doing nothing. I mean, he's a father, like go to work, get your life straightened out. Like you've done something so messed up. He's honestly lucky he's not in jail. Now let's get into even more recent news about ARMY because I found a few things that nobody's even really talking about. I'm filming this video on July 23rd. So on July 19th, he was spotted in LA, which he might be here in LA still. I'm like, no, stay away from me. At least this video will probably be out before he like he'll be gone i don't know <laughs> anyways he's supposedly been staying at robert downey jr's house for several weeks so oh shoot maybe he is staying around here i hope i don't see him out and about but what's really interesting to me is that i found this random paparazzi video from like a day ago where elizabeth chambers his ex wife was out about and she was asked about the situation asked about the kids nobody's talking about this but here's the clip how are you holding Angry. how's your life going Everything's good. Thank you, baby. So, are you are you happy that uh, Robert Downey Jr. is helping Army? I think so. I mean, it's good. Uh, there is a lot of re reports that some are true, some are false. No, I think like average, but he needs help, right? Everybody he needs help, but yeah, is, is it true he was uh, really doing the timeshare job? I, no, I, can, I can really you, you can you yeah. can talk about. It? I can really but I think he, you know he's happy and that's. Hey, quick question. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. So, quick question. Are you still in a relationship with him? Yeah, he's my best friend. Yeah. He's your best friend, but uh, romantically nothing. No. Uh, you think like it's been enough time for him to heal? I think everyone's always like going through the process, you know. Do you think uh, is there a chance for him to resuscitate his career? probably the wrong person to ask that. You think so? But now, you know, I mean, I'm so happy that uh, Robert is helping him out, right? So, is he being supportive with the kids? How the kids are taking it? He's amazing. He's amazing? All that matters is family and our kids, right? Exactly. So, yes. you think you're going to give him a chance? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> 
So it seems like they're doing all right. It seems like Elizabeth knows where Army is, that she has some interactions with him, that he's hanging out with his kids. But ultimately, has there been any justice? Like, I haven't found anything. Like, even when it comes to Gloria's case, like, I don't see where it's gone. Was there a settlement? Like, I, I just cannot find that information. So comment below if you guys know, like, if any justice has been, like, served or, like, are they still working on it? Is there a court case? What is going on here? But those allegations are damning and there's a a lot of evidence to show it so i think like it makes sense for him to like back up and just kind of like accept the feat because like you clearly did this you are clearly a monster but here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys